Good morning everyone! Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Railroader. Because that's precisely what we are going to do today. So, chat. Um, yeah, uh, last time, if you remember, this happened. So basically, I a bit overestimated the possibilities and, and capabilities uh, of ARC-401. Which just doesn't happen to be strong enough to do the job. I am gutted and disappointed to say the least. On top of that, to add insult to the injury, it ran out of water in a place which is probably the worst one that you could possibly choose. And because in order to recover it, I need to drag another locomotive from a completely different location to fix this situation. And it's, I'll be honest with you, it is annoying. It is annoying, but, well, you know. We tried. We gave it a chance. And it failed. It failed us, chat. <laughs> so, basically, uh, consolidation did pretty well. But, I need to start planning to fill up water at Whittier. Uh, because, as you can see, otherwise it will result in disaster like that. Where the train will run out of water. Just a few hundred yards away from the water spout. And, uh, as you can imagine, it's not good. It's actually pretty bad. On top of that, for some reason, this signal is green. I wouldn't give green signal if there is a locomotive standing right next to it. Uh, but what do I know? I'm not a signaler. Anyway, this train is here to stay for another few minutes. Uh, because 203 is blocked. And the nearest helper is 201, which is currently passing through Ila. And he's on his way to help resolve the situation. Uh, so we got a few minutes. And we're gonna spend that few minutes. Sorting out Stream Raiders. So, so, let's start the first battle of the day. And I think just to warm up, uh, we should pick something easy. Yes, let's pick, uh, let's pick an easy challenge. Uh, so we can quickly progress. Uh, just in case the numbers are low. If, if the numbers will increase, we can try and increase uh, the difficulty level. But for now, I think early in the morning, our capabilities lays in easy challenges. So I shall place my Centurion once again. Because he happens to be one of the warriors that I want to level up. And now... We can get into the game. And I think Tankis is with me on Discord. But he wasn't saying anything. Oh, and I got poor shades. Well, he's definitely on the chat. Welcome to the chat. Uh, yes, I can actually hear you now. There we go. And now we can all hear you. Okay, it's the second again. Mm 
There we go. Right, so I need to unlock that. I just uh, reconnect to another USB port. Perfect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I heard for two hours because in our tunnel we will start event uh, with price with uh, 292 two uh, object with with very big gun, I told you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Fair enough, fair enough. Right, uh, so for now, I I'm not sure if there are any cars to spot. Oh, yes, there are. Only if, only if at Ella. Clark, one car stay at uh, Ella Supply. At Ella. Oh, yes, there is one. Uh, you can ignore that one. Mm -hmm. Is there anything at Connelly Creek that you can move? Yeah. If there is nothing, uh, then for now you can manually run passenger train. At least as far as you can get it. Because apart from that, uh, there's pretty much nothing else to do for next probably like 20 minutes. <laughs> because we are stuck. you stuck here just like it well i mean that 401 ran out of fuel and it stopped in a way so i can't do anything which one uh, out of file? It's at Dillsboro. Yeah, also some switches are set. And then there's some issue with the switches. Where is the switch? Mm -hmm. Well. There we go, chat. Fixed. Oh, it's not fixed. Uh, it's why it's uh, that why you sent two zero one. Yes. Uh, yes. Precisely, that's the reason why 201 is heading to Dillsboro. That is precisely the reason.
There we go. Now we can give it all the beans. It will still take another, like, probably solid 10 minutes before this thing gets to Dillsboro. And that's basically the price you might pay for making mistakes. So don't make them on your safe. Remember, always refuel your locomotive before difficult section of the track. Because apparently, consolidation will run out with 2,000 ton train. But hey chat, now we know. Now we know. And we will be smarter next time. To make small adjustments and then try to not repeat the same mistake.
Okay, chat. I, I did it again. I did it again. I disabled my microphone for a second. And then I was trying to talk to you. For like past five minutes. Absolutely brilliant of me. Brilliant. Ah, chat. Sometimes I'm impressed with my own genius. doesn't seem to work early in the morning also oh my days twitch not now yeah twitch just told me that they are going to play you or not because hey it's been apparently 30 minutes since i started the stream Whoa. oh my days I, i'm so unorganized this morning i can't believe in myself Absolutely unbelievable. There we go. We are getting close to the... Target train.
Alright, welcome back everyone. We are now ready. 201 arrived from Bryson, finally. So, let me just quickly deal with the problem. And these cars happens to be a problem. Let me just couple to them. And let's decouple that. Okay, glad hands connected. And now we need to go forward at a very, very slow speed. And let's see how far we need to drag it. I, I don't think this is going to fit, but. Is there a handbrake? There is a handbrake. Okay, now the train is working. So I need to drag all this out of the way. Oh my days, look at this. I don't think there is enough space on Silva Interchange, uh, on Dillsborough Yard to actually fit the entire train. I think we will have to drag it a little bit further than that. Still a few more cars, chat.
Okay. We may now use ARC203 to help 401 to get the water spout fill up and that's pretty much it then we can reverse back pick up our train and continue to our destination while the rest of the locomotives can get back to their positions is still at Bryson That's gonna work. No, that's not gonna work. First of all, we need to set it up as multiple units. out and this one has to get orders 50. let's see if that works probably not Now it will work, yeah. All right, chat. So let's push it to water spout and then we can start the battle that should now be ready. There's four units.
So there are four units there. a big deal nice and slowly there we go chat we got water now in coupler is disconnected uh, let me just select you let's engage the brakes uh, the 15 there we go Right, chat so with this ready we may now jump into this battle it will be very difficult chat we got only four units now let me place a stronghold here My Centurion has fallen and it looks like we need more units. Chat, I'm sorry to say, but that wasn't enough units. We need more. Right, and uh, let's see. I think I will go with hmm. Let's go with Musketeer. Uh, it's been a while since I used one. But I'm gonna need some brave warriors to defend this Musketeer. And ideally a few other units to support. So chat, place your units now. You got 29 minutes to build a massive army that will defeat all those enemies. In the meantime, let's get back to Rayroader. Where ARC-401 is finally getting some water. There we go. And this thing can now reverse 15. Can extinguish the PG. And now, as for this one. I forgot AI won't be able to do it. Oh my days. 
I need to do it manually. Because I need to bypass the red signal. go now I can do road reverse 15 and the AI should be able to deal with this chat I completely forgot that this signal will be red permanently because there is another train waiting at uh, Dillsboro yard and we got no through track because everything is occupied. Okay, this needs to go into manual. Brakes release. We can slowly reverse through the signal. There we go. Now AI can take over. And I can throw that switch. And chat, we are almost ready. Uh, I can see that Tankis is doing something at Connelly Creek. 103 is waiting for another day. I'm not going to be running passenger train at the moment. So we are just waiting for this train to be fully reassembled. There. Wonderful. Reverse yard twenty. Just connect to it. While this one can actually disconnect. I'll just follow 30, okay. That can go back to Bryson. go and now road forward 30 and heavy freight may now continue Nico what 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 are you doing welcome in Raiders oh my days my days how are you doing Nico how was your stream uh, I, I know I came in earlier on to, to say hi but how, how did it go how, how was your adventure by the way everyone uh, a big shout out to Nico uh, let me just Check whether this actually works. Uh, yeah, actually there we go. Find it, first. it works. Well, actually, it makes me think. Uh, 
yeah, I, I'm, I'm so used to YouTube because that's where I started streaming. But um, yeah, I think on Twitch you can actually do one like you can on YouTube until it's published as a VOD. There we go. We had one of your clips. Uh, yeah, there is a way to do it. Uh, I, I got it uh, done in uh, uh, Stream Elements. Uh, with me, well, to be honest, uh, today I, I don't feel my best. Uh, I've been feeling a bit ill for past like two days. It's mostly like light cold and, and stuff, so I got stuffed nose, I'm constantly sneezing and stuff. Which is not making things easier, but apart from that, I, I feel great. Uh, time to start another morning, deliver some cargo, as you can see. Uh, also, speaking of Far World... We need to... Play it together, uh, one day. What do you think about it? We need to team up and go and kill some nice boss or capture a boss. Because apparently you can capture anything. Oh yeah. I've recently been running around the game and trying to capture those uh, traders so I can put them in my village. Oh, I see. So, hang on. So, you did, uh, you set up like a power world on a dedicated server now. See, I, I didn't have any issues with power world so far, so uh, I, I can't really relate to, to stability. I, I never had any issues with, with the game. But I also never played it in multiplayer, so I, I don't know how well that will go. Oh, I see, I see. I will keep that in mind uh, when I will try to host the session. Because uh, I, I was actually thinking to, to invite some people and play together, but if there are such issues and I might need a dedicated server, then that might not be something I can do. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, right, 401. Uh, where is this thing? Oh. It is slowly steaming through. 12 miles an hour, that would sound reasonable for the weight. Well, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what kind of system you are running, to be honest. And on top of that, Palworld is in early access, and I think developers actually put uh, a warning about that when you start the game. That the more people you play with, the more problems you will probably encounter.
Okay, Cap, we are slowly climbing up. Uh, thank you. Uh, yeah, if, if you got any translated documentation, you can send it uh, so I can have a look at it. go almost there chat we are almost at silva depot which is that which is just a stone throw away from silva interchange or is it a rock throw whatever Why is 401 running in multiple unit mode? Almost there chat, almost there. Finally, after so many problems. We're gonna deliver this cargo. Okay, so we are now arriving at paperboard. go it 
is now stopping. Good night, Nico. Good night. Take some rest. You definitely deserve it after such a long stream. <laughs> There we go. Whew. First part of this cargo has been delivered. Finally. I still need to split it, uh, but that's the job for Switcher. But in the meantime... For a one, still has work to do. Uh, I got thirty one cars, which is slightly more than I need. So I need to pull them all the way through. Cut whatever I don't need and then put the rest on, on this siding so I can have one free track to escape. And now I can pick up 203 from the siding. This train was so heavy that only within a distance of Dillsboro and uh, Silva Interchange, I used nearly half a tank of water. This is a very thirsty locomotive.
Oops. Yeah, I definitely overshot a bit. That's fine though, that's fine. Forward. it Why isn't this working? Oh, I see. I, I, I think it's because I've been messing with the wrong locomotive cut. You know, I, I've been literally messing with the wrong locomotive. I am a genius. I am absolute genius. Yeah.
Everything delivered, chat. Everything is delivered. Okay, let's do road forward 15. So we can get out of the way. go perfect so these two trains should now work Atrimi, hello! Welcome to the stream. I hope you'll have a great time today. is looking at another train what oh seriously Well, I'm doing okay. Uh, still not feeling the best, to be honest. Uh, unfortunately, that illness is giving me a hard time lately. Oh, I'm gone. No. Uh, so I guess, yeah, uh, like today, it's it's not the best for now. <laughs> The stream is going well, uh, but yeah, I, I just don't feel in my best condition. Uh, on top of that, I'm constantly sneezing and I got runny nose, so that, that doesn't help. That doesn't really help things go best. But apart from that, it, it's going well. Right, chat. The battle is ready. Let's have a look at this beautiful and magnificent army. Wait, oh, did, did someone broke your car window? What happened? What happened? Tell us. Hang on. What, what do you mean the motor died? Oh, I see, I see, electric windows, ah, oh, the joys, all the joys, uh, right, so, I'm gonna give you a tip about getting it back up, if it's the motor, you can do it manually, 
So the window is sticking slightly out of the frame. So you can see the top. If the motor doesn't work or if the rest of the mechanism has broken. It might not be a motor, it might be the rest of the mechanism which is full of pulleys and it's like a lifting mechanism that lifts and, and lowers the window. If that is not binding, then you might be able to just grab uh, the window itself or the glass uh, with, with your fingers and pull it up. If you will be able to pull it up slightly, you can then open the door, literally put both hands flat on the glass and lift it up. The friction should be enough to, to allow you to lift it. And then if it doesn't stay up, just uh, fold piece of paper and stick it uh, between top of the frame and the window just to hold it in place until you can get it to some sort of mechanic and, and they will be able to fix it. But if you want to like just shut your window, you can do that. And I had it uh, in the same way in my car uh, like a year ago uh, when passenger side uh, electric window failed. And I think, uh, yeah, back then it was the entire lifting mechanism. So the motor was fine, but the mechanism was uh, completely busted. So you can try that. If it works, well, you won't lose anything. Just make sure to not use any tools because otherwise you might crack the glass and, and that will be worse. Uh, but if you use your fingers and you, if you can just pull the window up, it should technically work. Well, it should work. <laughs> Tapoli, hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. I hope you'll have a great time today. Right. Uh, we got another battle. Uh, I almost forgot to properly start it. Uh, let me just pull... Barbarian. There we go. Well, if it doesn't work and if the mechanism, uh, if the entire mechanism is holding that in place, uh, then you won't be able to uh, just call some, I don't know, mechanic and, and they might be able to close it for you one way or another. But that's the best idea I can give you. The electric windows are absolutely terrible sometimes. Well, they, they are great when they work. When they break down, it's a, it's a real pain. Right, chat. The battle is getting ready. I can see that Twitch is planning to serve you up in about 7 minutes. I mean, yes, uh, that that that's that's true. Uh, it's especially true for electric cars. When they break down, it, it usually breaks many other things, not only the car itself. <laughs> I, I think electric cars are the only cars when they break down, they, they tend to break down everything else around. <laughs> oh, the joy of motorization. I mean, you know, it, government doesn't quite care what you want. Uh, they, 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 they care what they're gonna do. So, 
you know, the reason why you might eventually want to get electric car in the future is because it will be affordable. <laughs> because looking at what governments are doing, they are trying to make everything else unaffordable to the point where people will hop into electric cars, which are unaffordable, <laughs> which is not helping the case. I'll get a horse. Uh, I, I mean, that's that's one way to, to do it. Yes. That's definitely one way to do it, at me. We can go back to the good old times of horse-drawn carriages because cars are too expensive. Doing some spinning.
ver. Okay, now let's put the paper board. Oh, I translate all the signals. Oh, translate now. Yes. So it's uh, signals with uh, different uh, speed or uh, not have a similar signals at uh, Polish railways.
Shot. Shot. Okay. I didn't feel Oh my days. Cats, uh, I yeah, sometimes I'm I'm a genius, okay? I muted the microphone for a second and I forgot to unmute it and, and I was talking to you for past 10 minutes. Uh, see, I, I told you I'm not in my best shape today and I'm doing really, really silly things. <laughs> oh my days. Anyway. All the cars are now spotted. Four oh one is currently at Dillsboro, I believe. Yes, it is. So we need to. Quickly get that thing done. RC203 is now stopped. Uh, also, oh, see, I spotted a car and I forgot to put a handbrake on. Oh, that could end badly. Okay, so, uh, okay. this orders uh, stop manual. There we go. Uh, what do I want to start from? Uh, let's start from spinning this locomotive around. Okay, just made it. Oh, look, it, it looks very modern. Right, I, I need to leave this locomotive. Oh, maybe that was too far. Okay, and now we need to spin it around. I don't think this is working. Hang on. 
probably need to push it just a bit further. There we go, yeah. So if the locomotive is not fully on on the turntable, you won't be able to move it. That's basically the, the fail save they introduced. Yeah, this looks lined up. Now if I will do that, this is lined up. And we can reverse. Oops, I missed this. There we go. There we go. Almost there, chat. 15 tons of coal. That's how much it fits. Oh, actually more than 15 tons. Hang on. What's the maximum capacity of this thing? Oh, it's 16 tons. Okay. See, I completely forgot how much fuel I can fit into this locomotive. Oops, I went a bit too far. That will do. Well, chat, I have to say that this uh, this unit or this locomotive takes a lot of water, a lot of fuel. Uh, but when it comes to efficiency, it's, it's not that good.
I was actually expecting a bit more. is now filling up uh tankist have you finished all the uh, shunting maneuvers and, and movements i'm not sure if he's still here to be honest so um, i bought uh, all of the skilled on dragon at uh, connery creek he loaded for now oh, so okay I okay that's fine i uh, just wanted to verify before i will advance time <laughs> Right chat. So it took us much longer than than it should to finish off this operation. Uh, but it's mostly down to my lack of performance today. Okay, my reputation has changed to 110% because uh, all three statistics are now at 100%. Uh, so we serviced all the station. Uh, our freight performance is at 100%. Our operational uh, our operations safety is at 100%. So we get maximum bonuses and our overall reputation is at 110. Woohoo. <laughs> oh my days. I feel so tired. Uh, yeah, I, I think I will. Uh, wrap up today's stream a little bit sooner today because I, I really don't feel uh, in my best shape uh, my apologies for that uh, but yeah hopefully tomorrow morning I will be in much much better shape chat because I I don't know I, I've been sat down for past two three hours and, and I feel really really tired today and clearly not in my best Oh my days. Right, it's 4 a.m. Fuel uh, has been delivered. Okay, that's fantastic equipment. Uh, that's fantastic. We need to do something about that consolidation when we all the fuel. It's, it's gonna take some procedures to be introduced. Uh, finance. We owe eight grand. We got seven grand. Uh, we are a bit not in the best place. Milestones. Uh, Alarka branch. Oh, I see. <laughs> I forgot to start the first phase of Alarka branch. So I guess that needs to wait for tomorrow. Okay. I will order those cars. Uh, Fontana Lake Bridge. No, that, that's gonna wait. And signals. Hemingway to Brooks. Uh, let's start the first phase. So we got signals, or so we will get a signals. Yeah, and that's pretty much it for now. Let's jump into Strip Raiders. Okay, chat. With Zeus's blessing and this beautiful crowd, we shall perform today's battle manager bomber mighty flag bearer there we go shadow robe we got some nice 
skins here, chat. Some really, really nice skins. Hermes Flying Rogue. That's that's really nice. Longshot Archer. Chest Centurion. Okay, okay. We we got some really, really nice units here. Let's start the battle. get a vampire and three random winners get some extra rewards on top of four gold that everyone gets congratulations we got some gladiator scrolls and common spell tom fantastic i can upgrade one of the spells uh, stronghold is at level three so let's upgrade killing field to level three there we go. Because those two are the most commonly used spells in our arsenal. And chat, yeah, I, I really don't feel my best today. Uh, so my apologies for that. Uh, it will be a very short stream. And I, I think I will wrap it up now. Uh, because, yeah, I don't really feel in my best shape. Uh, hopefully tomorrow I will be feeling better. I'm not sure what will be the main topic of the, uh, tomorrow's stream though. Uh, but well, today's operations on on our railway uh, were rather slow. Uh, we haven't done really much. Uh, literally, almost nothing happened. Uh, we rescued a train at Dillsboro got it to the interchange uh, spotted all the cars that remained on our spotting list except maybe two around with here but honestly it wouldn't be efficient to, to just drag a locomotive around to collect two wagons that that are not really necessary uh, we can do that uh, today uh, when it comes to in-game day uh, that just literally begun we got some cars waiting at the interchange. Uh, we got 203 waiting to spot that. And 401 that is about to get ready somewhere here on this yard. Uh, so we can build our freight train and get it to destination. Anyway, chat. No, my days. Uh, yeah. There we go. That's the button. Anyway, chat, uh, my apologies, I will cut it short today, uh, because I, I really don't feel the best. And, uh, like, trying to, to talk and and constantly sneeze uh, and, and, and stuff, it, it's not comfortable, uh, and on top of that, it doesn't help me uh, actually run a stream. Uh, so hopefully by tomorrow I will feel much better. Keep your fingers crossed. I don't know what, uh, what I will be streaming. Hopefully it will be something amazing. Well, in most cases it will be either Railroader or Pal World, uh, which are two games that I've been playing recently. Uh, I might jump into some Sim Rail or something, but it, it, honestly I, I couldn't feel like playing Sim Rail lately. I will get back to it, uh, but yeah, I, I just need some inspiration, I'd say, yes. Uh, sometimes you just need to change things uh, to to build up like a, uh, that, that sensation of, of, of missing something to, to get back to it and, and still or again feel amazed how great the game is. Otherwise, it, it just gets boring. And I'm in that stage for Train Driver 2, uh, Machina and uh, Simrail. Uh, but I will get back to those games and I will be streaming them more and more and more. So stay tuned for that. Uh, today, Railroader, uh, 
very quiet session. A very night themed, uh, I shall say. Uh, hopefully the next one will be more exciting. And for tomorrow's stream, well, I'll be back with morning coffee with Admiral. Definitely there will be plenty of coffee. Uh, but as for other content, I, I'm still debating what I should stream. Uh, whether it's going to be Railroader or Palworld or something else. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, you know, so, uh, chat. sometimes I tend to surprise you with something, so... Who knows, who knows. Uh, I'll figure it out throughout the day. I will be heavily thinking about it while delivering sandwiches and, and doing all my job. Because, yes, I'm not taking time off from work. <laughs> Believe it or not. A common cold won't stop me from doing my job. I will do it. With slightly less performance, but I will do it. <laughs> And that's it. Yes, uh, that's it for today. Thank you very much for uh, for joining me. Uh, if you like this, uh, drop me a follow. Uh, if you are watching this on, on YouTube, obviously share, like, subscribe. And don't forget to join my Discord server. All the links are down below the player on Twitch and in description down below the video. If you are watching this on YouTube or if you will be watching this on YouTube because the video is not yet published at the time of me saying that. It will probably take a few weeks before that happens. Right, anyway. See you later. Bye-bye.